Hey guys, Kakarot197 again. This time with an unboxing of the Mobile Turn X. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that. So, um, an unboxing of the Moral 44 scale Turn X from the Turn A Gundam series. This is one of those machines that I'm just surprised by that it hasn't gotten a modern high grade yet. Because the Turn A got one and the Turn X is definitely an interesting looking machine. I would say from the Turn A franchise, probably one of my favorite ones, even though I'm not a huge fan of the backpack. Uh, I love how on the box they call this an action pose, although we are dealing with a 90s model kit, so that might actually be the most action we can get out of this. Uh, front and back shot, like I said, not a huge fan of the backpack, but I guess it is a very functional backpack because it can store the bazooka and the beam rifle. Also, the turn A boxes for the 144 scale line are very boring, kind of very uninspired. Just the model kit, well, just a picture of the mobile suit on a blue background. So let's have a look at what's inside. Very kind of fluorescent green, not quite what we get on the box, but I guess maybe if you put a top coat on this, it will actually become the right color. Uh, it does have a lot of detail. For a 144 scale kit from this time, I don't think there were many model kits that had this amount of detail on it. Well, outside of the turn A line, that is. Here we have a runner that is almost entirely taken up by the two halves of the backpack. I do hope that it's not going to be too backpack heavy, especially when the weapons are in there, but um, I'll see that when I get there. And is this sun shaded? Is us uh, not sun shaded, sun faded? Huh. Well, the Bandai logo is still nice and red, but this looks almost white. Moving along, I guess this is a very white depiction of the uh, Turn X, mobile Turn X. Uh, so yeah, we get the usual stuff, we get interesting. Uh, we're not quite sure how much kilowatts he has, it might be anywhere from 5,000 up to 500,000. It's been a long time since I've seen Turn A, so I'm not sure if this was actually explained in the series or not, or if it has something to do with um, the maximum output with the Moonlight Butterfly or something, or maybe um, it has something to do with the old uh, Turn X having more, having like the maximum power output versus the new Turn X, because, well, new and old, I just mean that the one that was used back in the day was at full power and the newer Turn X and Turn A Gundam couldn't really operate at full power, whatever, I'm rambling on. Here we actually get a more action-y pose of the Turn X. We have the pilot, which, eh, not a huge fan of design-wise. But then again, the character designs in Turn A in general didn't really do it for me. I know a lot of people like to bash on the Turn A designs mobile suit-wise, but for me, the mobile suits are actually totally fine. I actually like some of them, but the character design is not my thing. Let's put it like that. So let's wrap this up there we go so that's all for the unboxing of the mobile turn x also it's mobile suit mobile turn x that's a lot of mobile anyways that's all for the unboxing of this thing i hope you all have a great day a big thank you to the patreon supporters and i will see you all tomorrow with a review of this thing